Hey what's going on guys welcome to your 18th OAuth tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can redirect users based on their authentication status. Okay then so far if we go through the auth process we're logging in with Google, Passport is doing its thing, it's identifying which piece of information we want to stuff in a cookie, we're encrypting that cookie, we're sending it out and right now what we're doing is we're sending back this response here. We're sending back the user, which is now attached to the request object, thanks to Passport, which we can then send to the user. So if we log in, let's just view this one more time using Google, and we get that object back, and we can see that we are logged in. This is who I am, right? Now, typically, if we log into a website, we don't want to be sending like an object back of your details. That's just really bad. We want to do something else. We want to maybe send them to a dashboard or their profile page. So that's what we're going to do. We don't want to send this right here. So let's comment this dude out. And instead, let's redirect them. Let's send them to a profile page. OK, so I'm going to say response dot redirect. That's how simple it is to do this in Express. And then where do we want to redirect them to which URL? Well, I want to forward them to forward slash profile. OK, so if we save this now and try and run it, then we're going to get some kind of 404 error. It can't find this route because we've not set it up over here. And I can show you that. I'll log in with Google and we're going to get some kind of error. Cannot get profile. All right. So instead, what we need to do now is set up this route. But I don't want to set it up in the authentication route because this isn't forward slash auth forward slash profile. It's a separate entity. It belongs in a separate file. So let's create now a file for profile routes. So I'm going to go to new file in routes and call this profile-routes.js. And the first thing we need to do is import at the top the express router. So I'll say const router is equal to require and it's express.router. Okay, so we've made a new instance of this router and this router instance is gonna control all of the profile routes make sense so let's set this route up so we'll say router dot get and it's just going to be forward slash remember we don't need to put profile because when we go to app.js later and use these routes much like we did with the auth routes we're going to say app use forward slash profile profile routes okay so if someone goes to forward slash profile nothing else after it this right here is going to be the base url the base route that they go to and this is where we're going to handle it so we'll take in the request object and the response object right here and then fire a function. And inside this function, what do we want to do? Well, eventually we're going to render some kind of profile page. But for now, let's just send something to the page. For example, response.send and we'll say something like you are logged in. This is your profile. And then we'll tack on request.user. Remember, we have access to this user object now on the request object, thanks to passport. Dot username, because dot username is a property, if we have a look at the model, on our record. So we're grabbing that username from the user that's logged in and we're outputting it. Okay. So let's save this. And before we can use this route, we have to use it inside app.js. So let's go over here and where the other routes are, auth routes. I'm going to copy this and just paste it underneath. Then I'm going to change this to profile and change this to profile over here as well. And we also need to use these. So where we have auth routes, I'm going to just control shift D to add a new line and then say this is going to be profile and this is going to be profile as well. Oops, don't want it in square brackets. OK, so now we can use these routes and hopefully when in this route right here, we're redirecting to forward slash profile. The application is going to find that route. It's going to handle it over here and send this response to the browser now. OK, so let's save it and view this in a browser over here. So let's log in again. It's going to redirect us to forward slash. Oops. Nope, we must have an error. And that's stupidly because I've not exported this over here. So we'll say module 
dot exports is equal to the router that we've just created save that now hopefully this should work if i go back log in with google again and now we get you are logged in this is your profile the net ninja awesome so we've redirected them now to a profile page and yes this profile page doesn't look great all right but we are eventually going to send them a view which is going to look better and that view can display information about their profile but the whole idea behind this redirecting them to their profile is good so one more thing if this thing right here is a profile we don't want people who are not logged in to view the profile does that make sense for example if i open a new incognito window and go to localhost 3000 and then forward slash profile we don't want people who are not logged in to view this right and we just get an error and that's bad for the user so if i'm not logged in we don't want this to show instead we just want to redirect them so how can we do that how can we check if someone is logged in and secure a page well pretty simply over here i'm just going to create a function and this function is going to be called auth check so i'm going to say const auth check and set that equal to a function just a narrow function and in here we're going to take the request object the response object and next now essentially what we're doing here is just creating a little bit of middleware right and this middleware is going to be injected right here in between this thing and this thing much like we did with passport over here where we injected some middleware there so that when we come to this route it fires this first then this right we're doing exactly the same thing over here what we're going to do is create some middleware here a function that is going to sit in between these things so it fires this function first before this function right and sending the response so this function is going to be responsible for checking if the user is logged in because if the user is not logged in right here then we don't want to carry on and do this but if the person is logged in then we do want to carry on and do this we want to show them their username because then we won't get an error make sense okay cool so let's just do a little check and how can we check if a user is logged in well remember we have access to request.user so if that is a true value it means that the user is logged in so if this is true it means the user is logged in okay and if it's not true then it means the user is not logged in so we want to check if they're not logged in so instead of checking this because if they're not logged in this is going to be false we want this to be true so we put a little exclamation mark in front of it to say okay well reverse that okay so therefore if the user is not logged in then this will be false however this will reverse that so it becomes true therefore this code block executes so this executes if user is not logged in okay so then what we can do here is redirect that user so we'll say response dot redirect and we're going to redirect them to forward slash auth forward slash login the login page right we're saying hey you're not logged in so you can't view your profile therefore we'll send you to the login page however if they are logged in then this right here will be true the exclamation mark will reverse that meaning it's going to be false the whole thing here therefore this won't execute but the else statement will so if they're logged in then what we want to do is just call next and we do this in middleware to say okay go on to the next piece of middleware which is going to be this the next function right so now what we need to do is insert this function right here auth check into this part does that make sense so this bit of code right here is going to fire when we go to this route to make sure that we are locked in and if we're logged in then it's going to say next okay that's fine you can go to this bit then it's going to fire this function and show the username if we're not logged in then we're going to redirect to this page so the user can log in so let's save that and try this out i'm going to refresh over here now and if i go to forward slash profile it's going to redirect me to that login page makes sense however when i am logged in if i go back log in with google when i am logged in and i go to forward slash profile i see this so that's how we can check whether a user is logged in and redirect them if they're not.